Hello and welcome back to Gasputio Tabletop Football, where we are looking at the pitch side scenery, mountain scene that we have uh, now fixed on, glued on to the side of the pitch, and we have fully covered it in the adhesive stroke grout, the spare tub of it that we had, uh, and it's starting to go off. It does say it's meant to go off uh, 24 to 48 hours. Obviously, that's in a small amount, so normally wedged between tiles or behind tiles. This is a much greater amount in one uh, concentrated area. So it's been about four days now, and it's still still pretty fluid in the middle. Although it is getting there, so the front of that rocky outcrop there, that's certainly been dry enough to sand off, and I've done a little bit of that. And it is looking a little bit mountainous, to be fair. I managed to carve in the uh the sort of stream area so that's been dragging in and a good thing about this drying quite slowly is you can sort of move around uh as you use it as it goes off bad points about it it is self leveling it does appear uh so if you leave it when it's wet it will all level out so you've got to sort of come back to it and you know sort of jiggle it around to get all the funny shapes and rocks and bumps in it, in it. Uh, and what else have we done well if i just move the camera around slightly apologize for the movement down here we have as you can see on the top of the screen let me just focus on that because it's a little bit bright there isn't it? there we go that's better the lower relief area uh, that I used a similar process, so rubbishy bits of wood and timber left over, but this time I glued them directly onto the baseboard, and then just this evening I've layered some more of that grout over the top, which, because it's a much smaller amount, is already starting to go off. So I should be able to sand that soon, get a bit of a sort of smooth relief about it. And then, of course, we've got to marry those two pieces together here. Let me just focus on that for you without knocking the camera over there we go so once those two halves have gone off i'll fill that in with some more of this grout really sand it all into shape i might actually give it a week or so to properly probably go off properly dry uh, and then we can see where we're at uh, i think the next stage once that's done will be to color it in some sort of base color so i'm thinking good old grey primer would be good for that for the rocks I do have to as well if you see up here where this piece was independent and I've glued it on I'm gonna have to connect up the bottom somehow it does look like it's just sat on top there whereas this piece over here is sort of merged in a bit more but as you can see it is starting to toughen up in places sort of looks a business it is a little bit chalky so I'm a bit concerned perhaps that it's going to wither away as I work with it, but um, I suppose once I've covered it in primer or some, some sort of paint, uh, then that should hold it all together. Uh, we'll have to be obviously very careful because we've got fencing here. I actually glued these fences down because I didn't like them moving around. So we're going to have to be a bit careful there, uh, but we are moving on with it. We're just gradually getting there. Just need to fill this last bit in and then we can crack out. So do stay tuned for the next exciting instalment in this pitch size scenery series uh, where, uh, well, we'll see what it looks like once it's got a bit of primer on. It looks actually like rocks. Um, also, while you're here, I did have a bit of a package delivered today. <clears throat> now let's move some of these spew your bits and pieces out the way and we'll see what we've got in here. So I, it's not an unboxing, this is such because I've already opened it. <clears throat> but these are a few little items I picked up, I suppose quite inexpensively, off um, eBay. First one I picked up was this. Railway enthusiast might be uh, very familiar with these things. This is like, uh, I think it's a bag of grass. But it's a bag of sort of flock stuff that looks like you paint a bit of PVA glue on there and then drop this stuff on. It looks, it's almost like the same colour as the muddy pitch. So that would be useful. Bag of grass, always helpful. <clears throat> next thing we got I thought what are we going to put in the river you don't want grass in the river so I've got some of this it's like a, it's from actual Hornby they actually do railway you know if you remember Hornby big in railways so this is like a sort of gravel so I'm going to pour that into the river same again glue that in around the river bit of foliage so what have we got here ah this one yeah 
So we've got in this package, mini bushes. <laughs> Again, another suspicious looking package of bush. And the last one, uh, some classic uh, model train accessories, trees. So a bunch of trees that we can stick in. Uh, and I think when you're making anything like this, it's, it's the small things that you know really sort of bring it alive. So we've got a few bits and pieces there that I think you're really gonna sort of pop it into existence it should look good in the background of gas Bugio stadium quite uh, excited to start placing the trees in for some reason if you uh, follow any of my other youtube channels you know there is a woodland themed one that's just been released if you have an interest in woodlands do get in contact and i'll tell you the details of my other channels without too much of a plug there because we are talking about Subutio modeling and Gasputio Stadium on this channel. Anyway, until next time, I think I will leave you to it before I start plugging myself too much. Let's have a quick look while we're here. I was chatting about these in one of the previous videos. I love these figures. These were uh, special, not painted by me, specially painted Rover's kit. And this is one of the kicking keepers. This is a goalkeeper. Look at that. It's just amazingly painted. I'm going to try and really bring it in and focus on. Oh, let's see if I can do it. Don't think my camera likes it that close. I do appreciate when people, there you go. People spend the time to do these, these bits of work. These decals added on there. I mean, that's amazing. I play with them figures quite a lot because I like them. The team's, uh, let me see if I can find one of them while I'm here. Drifting off topic a little bit here, but it is essentially a Subutio show. So uh, let's bring that one into focus for you. Oh, no, does it like it? There we go. So look at that. That's an amazing. 15, 16 away kit. Bristol Rovers, that. Eh? decals on it love them and they're on these flat bases which are amazing to play with anyway anyway i'm getting way off topic here so until next time up the gas let's focus on the hillside take it steady